What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, D Indoor Commentary. <clears throat> Way too late at night to be, uh, well, I guess early in the morning, depending on how you look at it. Anyways, we have, um, Nye first place, the number one rating on Dueling Network playing Yang Zing, <laughs> Zephyr Yang Zing, um, versus Kanakus, um, okay, uh, 1416, <clears throat> about 200 and, 70 points between them. You see, obviously, Nye set the P scales with Odd Eyes and Eccentric Archfiend. Excuse me, Archfiend Eccentric. Um, played Oracle of the Zephra after Pendulum Summoning. Searched a copy of Secret. Looks like he's going to set two. Um, blow up his Odd Eyes. And <clears throat> get another search. For another Archfiend Eccentric, uh, he must have some type of big plan um, I mean, I'm going to say that that's a very productive turn one, uh, as he now has seven cards to his opening of six. And it's not even just seven cards, but like you have a huge, big, beefy butt on board with uh, a 2600 Yang Zing. Looks like um, Can Akus is going to summon Raiden. If he's playing Infernoids, oh, he's playing New Light Sworn. Okay, I'm like, if you're playing Infernoids, you would better like put the pedal to the metal immediately. You know, I don't think that Nye, I don't think Nye plays, um, I don't think he plays Max C, but I think he should. Because on turns where he doesn't necessarily open with a back row card, like a Zephyr Divine Strike, or, um, you know, like, some type of great lockdown field with maybe Herald of Perfection, excuse me, Herald of the, um, the Arc Light. like, he doesn't open with one of those, you know, basically solemn type cards, I feel like he can get ran over. <clears throat> but, I mean, he's the number one player on Dueling Network with a rating of almost 1,700, so the guy must be doing something right. He's playing against New Light Sworn, which, there goes that Minerva. It's a deck that only exists online, but it's still, it, you know, it's still a deck. I, I, I appropriately call it New Light Sworn because essentially that's what it is. Um, those weren't the greatest mills. I guess Jet Synchron was not bad, but... Um, usually you look for a Felis, a Wolf, a Trick Clown, or a Damage Juggler. Uh, the deck plays three of all of those cards, so, like, you can literally mill 12 cards and make advantage. Um, and if you mill the Light Sworn cards, you obviously go plus two, because you summon them and you get to draw a card. So, that really wasn't a great summon, but <clears throat> let's see if he can, uh, do something. Uh, personally, I if I'm playing against Yang Zing, I don't ram. Like I don't ram into random face downs. I'm just I'm not willing to do it because you're not you're never gonna like you're never gonna get ahead by letting them summon the monster that they want to, um, or at least very rarely will you. And usually, for you to, um, it has to require like it has it generally requires a way of of stopping. The sun, like it, you'd have to be able to stop the first monster in the first place, or I guess you, if you need to get like Castel, I'll give you that. If you go for like a Castel play, because obviously you could attack a face down, I don't know, Chi Win, and you wouldn't be able to Castel that. But then if your opponent gets a Suani, you can obviously Castel that. So that's like the only way that like attacking a Yang Zing can be kind of beneficial to you, but generally it only helps your opponent. And most ways of in most ways, like, killing it face down is pretty much the same as killing it face up. Other than, like, cast on 101 and stuff. And I honestly, I don't really think anybody plays 101 anymore. <clears throat> I think that cast is just way too important now. I honestly think double cast is starting to become a thing. Whoa, are we going to see a Trishula summon? Alrighty, that Trishula though. Alright, rest in peace to Upstart Goblin. Um, what's he taking out of his hand? <clears throat> the turn one Trishula is real. Goodbye to Arch Phoenix Centric. And he loses his entire pendulum zone. As well as treasure. I hope he knows that treasure gets to, um, search though. That is treasure, right? Excuse me, secret. I get those cards mixed up. Yeah, when, when secret dies after it's been pendulum summoned, you do get the, like, get a card. Now, I wouldn't have attacked the phase down. That's, we, we, well, we just discussed that, so. I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. He's probably going to get Jatsu. Uh, I've seen Nye's deck enough to know that he basically relies on this card a lot. Um, all the other supplementary Yang Zings, like, I think a lot of them he only runs, like, one copy of. 
But I know whenever, like, whenever his Yangzing gets killed and he has an open board, usually Jatsu is, like, who he goes towards. That's usually his go-to card. Activates Oracle of the Zephyr. I think he plays, like, Triple Path in this deck, too. <clears throat> I think he, I don't know if he plays the, um, the, I don't know if he plays Chicken Game anymore. I don't think Chicken Game's that good, because, like, Unless, if you're, you make a really good board, but like, it doesn't advance your game so much further that you're willing to give your opponent a free card. Like, you'll get wrecked for that, honestly. I don't think chicken, yeah, I don't think chicken game is like that good. Cause then, when it comes around to your opponent, they just chicken game and then, you know, they have seven cards and it's like, you can have, unless your board is godly, I mean, seven cards is gonna wreck, like, just about anything. Unless you have like the fucking gin lock. With like a, you know, maybe a gen lock back in the day with like a gun near plus a like Falcon stuff. Flips over Vanny's emptiness. Um so the Teller Knight uh Zep Sites Zephra Saiton was played. Let me read your effect right quick. <coughs> this card is normal flip or pendulum summon. You can target one other you can target one other Teller Knight card and do, 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 or Zephyr card in your monster zone um do, 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 and a set card oh okay fair enough he's saying that essentially he's gonna blow he's gonna blow up the um the set card yeah yeah uh it's already been targeted so uh flipping it face up doesn't really change anything it's like galaxy cyclone and actually that's exactly what he says that's what i'm if if the way that i'm reading it that's exactly as galaxy cyclone is like even if you activate the card it still gets destroyed because that's how Galaxy Cyclone is. <clears throat> if you flip over a skill drain after it's been targeted for Galaxy Cyclone, it's like, that's fine. You can pay that thousand life points for no reason at all, but your skill drain's still gonna die. It doesn't have to be, um, the card doesn't have to remain set at the end of the, um, what's it called? At the end of the chain. It doesn't matter if the card is set. It just matters if the card was set, uh, upon activation. So, looks like Vanities is gonna die. I mean, that would have been a really good play, but unfortunately not working out. All right, so so Knight's going to attack and die. It's going to take 100 life points. I'm wondering if he's just trying to... Um, oh, okay, it looks like he was just trying to get rid of the monster on board. Discards his two Yang Zing cards. It's kind of, that's kind of dope that you can use Yang Zing Creation for that. And I'm actually surprised he runs Yang Zing Creation. Well, it's searchable, so actually, yeah. It's not that surprising because it, it is searchable. <clears throat> he is going to Synchro, because he has a tuner, obviously, in Jatu. Goes for Baxia. Um, I think it's spin time. Time to go in that spin cycle. Trishula and Minerva are going bye-bye. Uh, well, Baxia, you just, basically, you get the um, spin based off the amount of materials. I believe it's with different attributes. Do, 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 do. Um, with different attributes, um, Jatu's dark, your earth, yep, two attributes, two spins. Um, as long as you, I mean, considering that the two tuners are light and dark for Yang Zing, like, you're pretty much never gonna summon, like, you're always gonna have at least two, um, yeah, for the most part, yeah. <clears throat> I guess maybe if you use the other one, the, like, level five one, and, like, Jatu and, like, a level one token or some shit like that, then maybe... Um, it wouldn't work that way, but for the most part, choose at least two. I think he's going, okay, so, um, pops the monster, and then gets a copy, well, he gets, he gets Chi Win and Beyond. Um, I'm pretty sure he just wants to play Herald of the Arc Light, um, an unkillable Herald of the Arc Light. This is actually a super strong play. Um, if I was him, the second he tries to activate Raiden's effect, I would immediately chain um <laughs> i would immediately chain uh uh beyond's effect to synchro because raiden isn't a cost so and that's exactly what he's gonna do and now these cards are actually these cards are gonna get banished they're not gonna go to the graveyard i hope he knows that um this card is like a direct counter to reasoning too so the cards don't go to the graveyard they actually get banished and it's because Raiden's effect to mill is not actually a cost. It's it's not like Charge of the Light Brigade or Dante, something like that. <clears throat> so you see Lumina 
which usually would have hit the graveyard, um, ends up getting banished. And it's actually, excuse me, it's just monster. It's just monsters. Um, it's not actually spells. So he gets his charge of light brigade in the graveyard. Effectively, that doesn't do anything. And when he goes to end phase to try and mill, um, obviously any monsters that he sends, such as Wolf or Felis, just aren't going to get summoned. In addition, Trick Clown, see, that would have been a plus one. <clears throat> He would have been able to get a free copy of Wolf here, but it's just not going to happen. Now, you could see, you could probably see, a, um, oh, never mind. Well, that was a great top deck. Uh, you get a copy of Beyond. You can blow it up with Baxia. Um, you get two monsters, essentially. I mean, you can make a couple of Heralds, basically. Gets his chi one back and gets his chi one from the graveyard um gets this one off of the beyond and then gets another one from his graveyard so looks like he's going to synchro again for another baxia Raiden's going to get spun and scoop phase dude i just yeah this shang Zing deck is like is it i'm mind boggled because it, the deck just works but it's like why doesn't anybody play it do people just not know the plays but you know, the Zephyr Yang Zing, I think it's maybe people just not knowing it. Because the deck isn't really that expensive. I think you really just have to sit down and play the deck over and over and over and over. It's, it, I think it's, I think it's kind of similar to Ritual Beast. It's a deck that not a lot of people, you know, kind of knew what the plays were. Like, you know what to look out for, but you don't know how to, like, essentially play it. If you wanted to play uh, the Ritual Beast, you wouldn't know, like, what to do. And, oh, crap, did I summon this one twice? I can only special summon this, you know what I mean? So, the only thing I wonder is about the Max Seeds, though. Like, what does the deck do when it gets Max Seed? I guess you can just kind of set monsters. And I don't know. I Personally, I'd find a way to get Max Seeds in that bitch. Because this deck does not run a lot of traps. I think it probably runs, like, maybe one or two copies of Zephyr Strike. A vanities and a warning and like that's pretty much it so the deck probably only runs like three traps so i would find a way to get max seas in the deck all right this time opening up with this so telling that isn't that an ultra rare or is it the other one plays odd eyes and that's that's a card that i'm kind of surprised that he plays so he's gonna set them scales i mean and a lot of advantage comes from this card right here a lot of advantage comes from secret which obviously is searchable Searches out a Zephyr Strike. I'm gonna ask Nye if I can get his deck list. I don't, eh, I don't know if he'll, what's it called? I don't know if he'll give it to me. Alright. Now, goes for Ancient Fairy Dragon so that he can blow up his Oracle and just get another copy. Thousand Light Points on top just for, just for funsies. <clears throat> that was a card I pretty much assumed that the deck played. Uh, you're, you're gonna be hard pressed to find any synchro based deck. That can go seven. That runs field spells. That's not gonna run a copy of Ancient Fairy Dragon. Um, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Whoa, this is new, dude. He's even altered this deck since the last time I've seen it. <clears throat> All right, now he's gonna activate Iris. Oh, he's gonna blow. Oh my goodness, he's blowing up. Yeah, this has to be new because this just came out like yesterday, <laughs> technically, or two days depending on when you guys were seeing it. Searches out a copy of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Then gets uh, Chi Wins Effect. Okay, gets a Jatu. Blows up his Odd Eyes and searches again. This is pretty interesting. Alright, gets a copy of Archfiend Eccentric. Um, this is a 7. I think Archfiend Eccentric is really low. Because he might be trying to summon Odd Eyes back. <coughs> And, okay, he's just confirming to his opponent that he doesn't have any special effects. Alright, so right now this Sky, I this Sky Iris isn't doing a lot. But you see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, 9 went plus 1 on that. Play. Alright, MST on the Divine Zephyr Strike. I wouldn't even activate it, I'd just let it go. No point in banishing resources that you might be able to use during your next turn. Let's see what um, Can Akus can do. Will he be able to make a counterplay here? Solar Recharge, that's a good way to start. 
gets rid of that wolf in his hand. I open with wolf a lot when I play New Lights Horn. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Mills a Lila, you probably would have wanted to keep that one to draw that and potentially crack on his scales. Nils a uh, Felis, unfortunately, it wasn't sent by a card effect, so can't actually summon it. It actually has to be summoned by like Goblinberg or Soul Charge or Minerva or something like that, like another Light Sworn monster. But it can't be summoned off of like milling it from Charge of the Light Brigade or something like that. It has to be part of an actual effect. So it looks like he has, um, I guess Nye's just saying he has four names. No one plays Judgment Dragon anymore. It's just like, it's just not super consistent anymore. And mainly because you don't have ways, like the deck is all about like basically the number four. Like Synchro Summoning. Off of fours, um, going into eights, obviously exceed summoning, um, and then potentially using fours with the Lumina to make like Michael or Black Rose. I don't even think Black, well, Black Rose is kind of necessary, I guess. In the same sense of Exiton Knight, if your opponent doesn't have any answer to that type of card, then just nuke the entire board. It's not as near, it's not nearly as good as Exiton because you don't get to keep the, like, you don't keep your monster. That was another thing about Exiton, why I never understood why people were trying to be like, ah, oh, it's not broken. Like, you get to keep the monster. It's so much better than Black Rose Dragon. It's not even funny. If Black Rose Dragon was maybe, like, if you got to keep the Black Rose Dragon, like, that card would have been awesome. Like, no one gives a fuck about that second effect, that banish a plant and make a monster zero attack, because no one ever used that effect. Uh, after plant synchro format, like, no one ever used that effect ever again. And people definitely didn't use it during Teladak, because there were, like, no plants being played. Although, the, I think there was one regional in Charlotte where somebody topped with Debris, Debris, I think it was, I don't, I never knew if it was called Debris Hemi or Debris Heim. It was an OCG deck, and then somebody played it in the TCG. It basically was like the most primitive version ever of Teledad, or excuse me, of Plant Synchro. Three Lone Fire Blossoms, three Debris Dragons, before any of that shit got hit. All right. Some is Trick Clown. What's he going for? Omega, maybe? Um, or I don't think Scarlet would be that good here. I mean, it's a possibility though. It's a possibility. You can nuke the board, nuke the field. It's always worth, always worth. Now leaving his Norden on board or Norden on board is interesting because it's like totally going to die. Um, I thought maybe he might consider making a Bist Dweller because he could kill this card and, um, What's it called? Like, not have to worry about it triggering. <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. What, what's the play, though? Um, it would be, like, it'd have a water attached to it, too, so it'd be a beefed up Norton. Alright, he is gonna go for Scarlight. Get his Trick Clown back. Well, I guess, you know what? He can still do the Dweller play. I guess that's right. He can get, he can get Trick Clown back. So I think he is gonna do that play, in fact. Now, the thing about this play is, doesn't the Abyss Dweller die? Because, like, Scarlight blows up everything that's under 3,000. Like, you're never really going to have a Abyss Dweller that's over 3,000, so. Um, yeah, I actually don't think that's possible. Unless you have, I, I don't know, I'm not going to try and think of some scenario. Even with two waters, if it went up 1,000, it'd only be 2,700. It'd still be under 3,000. <clears throat> All right. Question is, what other supplementary card does he want to pair that Scarlight with? Man, you know what? When you really look at Dimension of Chaos, this was a really good set. Like, um, the last couple of Yu-Gi-Oh sets have ended up being, like, fantastic. <clears throat> like, I know that Secrets of Eternity was fucking garbage, and Cross Souls was, eh, like, not that good. <laughs> Cross Souls had Lose a Turn, and I guess the Zephyr, if... Like, you play Yang Zings, that's it. But uh, Clash of Rebellion was really good with the clowns and stuff. And Dimension of Chaos is fantastic. Not just the, like, you get some good synchros, get some good Xyz. Um, you obviously have the Magic Specters. So, it's just an all-around great set. Get some Performer Pals up in there. Alright, goes for Minerva instead. It's kind of a weird play. I expected him to go Dweller. Like, Minerva and Scarlight, to me, don't really have much synergy at all. 
unless you're just looking to make like sack plays like you're like okay well hopefully i mill a wolf and hopefully i mill a damage juggler i can search a hat tricker you know if you're looking to just sack your opponent i guess this play makes sense but like i don't know abyss dweller seemed like it would have had more synergy with scarlight red dragon archfiend a lot of people use that to kind of kill forerunner or dark destroyer and not have them trigger so okay so he is going to use the effect i guess <clears throat> usually when you use an effect you put like a counter on the monster to like identify you're using it see the reason i don't really like this play now is because um you can what's it called like he can totally trigger his jiaotu so i don't think he has a chi win he if he has a chi win he might be able to use it wait does jiaotu not trigger oh okay my bad i, I was thinking this entire time jiaotu replaces itself guess not Either that or Nye's not using it. Alright. Back to the duel. Now, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to just pendulum summon in this turn. Because, um, I mean, we know he has that Eccentric Archfiend and an Odd Eyes, so. <clears throat> eccentric Archfiend. Oh, Vanities again. Um, he immediately activated it. Oh, wait, looks like Nye still plays Chicken Game. <laughs> He's like, I can get rid of this. Well, how many field spells does he play in this deck? I mean, we've already seen Oracle of Zephyr like six times. He plays, I assume maybe he's cut Chicken Game down to maybe just like one copy, but he he plays Sky Iris too. And this guy apparently loves his uh, Vanities, but Archvina Centric is like, nah, dog, Vanities ain't even good. So he pops that. Uh, Maxi has played, <laughs> Maxi has played prematurely. The question will be, if you're nigh, do you maybe just want to search Oracle of the Zephra and like search a monster and just set it and just pass and take the plus of, you know, Maxi being a neg there? But three cards, like the, this Lightsworn deck can do a lot with three cards, especially if it has an instant fusion. Or do you want to go for the kill knowing that if you try and special summon a lot, you could obviously run into a damage juggler and get counter pushed? That's the question. Uh, he said he should YOLO the Yangzing path. Oh yeah, totally searchable, by the way. Totally searchable. Um, so he is going to Pendulum Summon. The question is, how many? Alright, looks like he Pendulum Summon 2. Uh, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go deeper than that. <coughs> Searches out Yangzing Creation. Um, looks like he's going to End Phase. Going to activate Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon's ability. Search out a copy of Treasure. All right. So, another Raiden is summoned. This guy loves him some Raiden. Dude, you got to summon some Lilas once in a while. Uh, misses out on Instant Fusion and his lone copy of Rhoda. That's unfortunate. Those weren't <laughs> those weren't very good mills, but when you're playing a deck that is more reliant on luck than skill, those type of things will happen. All right. So, what is going to be the next play here? I mean, I would assume, you know, it's interesting. He hasn't hit a damage juggler yet. It's almost like he doesn't play it. Um, he's milled 21 cards, no damage jugglers. So, like, that's just weird. I mean, we've seen Trick Clown, obviously, but to not get a damage juggler after all of those mills, that makes me, like, inclined to believe, like, he doesn't even play it, which is absurd because if you're playing Trick Clown, why not be able to just search it? <clears throat> and have a way of not getting like OTK'd against uh, like Pepe or you know uh, Cosmos and whatnot. Especially if you have Max C, like you know Combo Wombo right there. All right, special summons hat trigger. Not really sure any any generic rank four gets him out of this, except maybe Minerva Sack Mills. It's gonna go for Digustal Emerald, a card that probably won't live past this turn. Unless he somehow decides to win this turn. And that would require, obviously, him not killing the monsters. Like, spinning both of them. Because um, if he kills those, Yangzing path will absolutely be chained. Unless he, he somehow can get rid of both of them without... Like, he would have to get rid of this. And still get rid of both monsters. That would be difficult. Like, that would be extremely difficult. 
But yeah, the new, this Yang Zing Zephyr build, and I'm not going to say it's new, but this Yang Zing Zephyr build, I mean, a lot of the deck really revolves around this card. Like, Secret. The fact that Secret is perfect for Synchro Summoning, because it, it's six stars, so it makes Baxia really easily. Um, and then when you can't make Baxia, you can make, like, Ancient Fairy Dragon with Chi Win or whatever. Uh, the fact that when it's Pendulum Summoned, you search. When it's been Pendulum Summoned, uh, or when it just dies from battle or card effect. So basically you can trigger its effect twice. Um, you basically get another card, another search. So, I mean, it's cool because all the Yang Zing cards got searchable, which I guess explains why he plays Path. Because, like, remember how Yang Zings used to have to max out on all these cards? Now you don't have to max out on them because they're searchable. And it can get Zephyr cards too. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 it can't, no, it can't. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope, no, it can't. Now, I actually have, I don't think I've ever seen him really play this in the Pendulum Zone. Although, I mean, I guess you can. There are other sevens in the deck, um, like this card, and, okay, Out Eyes is a force, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <clears throat> Alright, I guess before he goes to the damage step, he wants to activate Yang Zing, uh, Creation. Get himself a couple copies of cards, and he'll still be able to search a card too. Alright, guess he's not gonna search. Fair enough. Uh, let me make sure I'm reading this correctly. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle, he, yeah, he could have searched. Um, while in your monster zone, you can add one Yang Zing or Zephyr. No, wait, it can search Zephyr, duh. I'm like, okay, so. Yeah, the fact that, like, all of these cards, like, Yang Zing creation, don't have to max out on it, because you can just search it. Um, Yang Zing path, same thing, don't have to max out on it, because you can search it. Um, it's searching Oracles of Zephyr, like, that's, that's, like, one of the plays you, if you don't know about that, don't play the deck. Um, and then Zephyr Divine Strike, that's another good one, too. Counter Trap. So, all of these cards that Yang Zing used to have to, like, play three of to make sure that they saw early, like, you can just search them. So you don't really have to max out on anything. Alright, um, is it Baxia time? It is Baxia time. Alright, gonna use Baxia. Gonna get rid of Yang Zing Path. I wonder if he runs Trishula, though. Yeah. I wonder if he, I wonder if he runs Trishula. That's one thing I don't know. If he actually runs Trishula or not. Okay, it's gonna activate Suani. And I think he's not done Synchro Summoning. Uh, is he going for what now? Is he going for a 9? What 9 is there? Oh, he's going for Chao Feng. Okay. So now, wow. Um, Kanakus can't use light effect monsters. Wow. <laughs> that really sucks. Um, and then he goes for Baxia in defense mode. Don't really see Chao Feng played that much. And then I guess he's going to pendulum summon on top of that for even more plays. Oh, baby. Another triple. <laughs> I guess Nai really likes this. He's gonna search Divine Strike. Nope, never mind. Searches Yang's in Creation. Uh, shut me up. What do I know about this deck? Apparently nothing. Okay, and uh, I guess he decided he wanted a different monster. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna go for a second Baxia. Um, he's gonna spin Oracle, I think. No, 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 no. He's not spinning Oracle. He's using the effect uh, when you Synchro Summon. I think it gets put on top. Uh, choose one monster. Uh, what's it called? Yeah. I, I totally forget about Oracle all the time. That it has effects based on what you actually do. Um, choose one monster from your deck. Uh, put it, pl uh, Place it on top of your deck. Okay, so basically, yeah, your next deck. Whoa! Then he summons Void Ogre Dragon. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have a hand, so that kind of works out. Then goes for Felgrand. Dude, all of this while still having a full Pendulum Zone? Like, this is stupid. <laughs> this is like one of those decks that uses every single card in its entire extra deck. Um, can't use... Well, he can negate a Spell and Trap. Um, obviously, Felgrand can make a Monster Protected. And then he can't use Light Effects either. Like, that is nuts. It only would have gotten better if he would have had a Divine Strike, because that would have been an Infernity Barrier. And then this deck almost kind of looks like Infernity, doesn't it? I swear, there's there's a few decks that, like, when you look at them in motion, it's like they kind of play, like, Infernity. Ritual Beast was... I think Ritual Beast was Infernity. It was That was the same exact deck. It only looked... It only
only difference between Ritual Beast and Infernity was Ritual Beast was cute. But it, it was the same exact deck. Same play style and everything. Alright, so. Um, man, you... I, I wanted to say Regeki, but I'm pretty sure Void Ogre Dragon would just be like Negate, so... I really don't know what you do. Um, I guess Canicus has the... I mean, he, he's got the plan. He's just gonna scoop. <laughs> I, I really don't know what you do against this, guys. Other than play Kaiju, you know what I mean? Tribute the monsters, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, another impressive win by Nye. And he is current, easily the highest rated player on doing that work. Thank you guys for watching as always.